Okay, so how much do you know about one of the most important numbers in all of mathematics? Well, that number is pi. Now, I'm posting this video for a very specific reason on March 14th. Matter of fact, March 14th is an excellent uh, clue on what the answer is to this multiple choice question on what is pi. But uh, March 14th is also known as Pi Day for those of us that love math, and uh, most people recognize pi by this symbol right here. Okay, now pi has something to do with circles, and let's take a look at this question. Again, what is pi? So A is pi approximately 3.14. B is it the fraction 22 over seven. Uh, C is it the circumference divided by the diameter in a circle. D is it an uh, irrational number or E all of the above. Okay, so if you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we're going to do a quick review on one of the most important numbers, if not the most important number in all of mathematics. Okay, but uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our choices here. Again, we're talking about pi, and most people know it as uh, this symbol right here. And it does have uh, something to do with circles. And as I indicated, uh, March 14th is a big clue. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, oh, March 14th, I know what you're going to say, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I got the answer. I know what it is. Uh, today is March 14th, so maybe this is 3 and 14, 3.14. Well, unfortunately, uh, you would be wrong. Now, you might be saying, what are you talking about wrong? I know uh, pi is uh, approximately 3.14. Well, that's not the entire story because actually the correct answer here is E, all of the above. Okay, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and your certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in a basic understanding of pi. So congratulations, and again, hopefully uh, you realize that uh, today is pi day. Now, don't be uh, too sad if you answer 3.14 because this is correct, but so are these things right here. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so uh, before we even start, I'm going to say, hey, happy Pi Day. Now, most people, again, recognize Pi with this symbol right here, and uh, probably the most common decimal value that is associated with Pi is 3.14. But let's kind of clear uh, some things up right now. Pi is uh, approximately equal to 3.14, but we cannot say that Pi is totally equal to 3.14. In other words, pi is not the value 3.14, and that is it. There's actually a lot more decimals uh, or actual a lot more uh, digits that come after 3.14. But if you're at least, you know, thinking, I think it has something to do with 3.14, well, that is pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here is our question, and uh, all of these things are correct. So pi, now notice here that I have an approximation symbol. I'm not saying 3.14. I said approximately 3.14, and that's a big difference. So pi is indeed approximately 3.14. Also, it's approximately uh, the fractional value 22 over 7. So if you are doing some calculations and you need a rough approximation of pi and you want to work with fractions, you can use the fraction 22 over 7. Now, I'm going to get into the definition about what pi is here in a second, but it is, in fact, the circumference divided by the diameter. And we're going to talk about this uh, concept uh, irrational numbers here in a moment as well. Okay, but uh, let's go ahead and actually define pi. So what is pi? Well, when we have some circles, okay, any circles, a small circle, a big circle, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, we need to kind of discuss a couple different um, aspects or measurements in a circle. Now, the first is the distance around any circle. Okay, so what do you call the distance around a circle? Well, hopefully you're saying, oh, that's called the circumference, Mr. YouTube Math Man, and you would be correct. So uh, the distance around any circle is the circumference. Now, what is the width of a circle? 
Okay, well, the width, how wide a circle is, is called the diameter. Okay, now anytime you take, <coughs> excuse me, a circle and divide it by the diameter, okay, so like here, I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and measure this. Uh, I'll take that circumference and I'll divide it by the diameter of this circle, or maybe this bigger circle, I'll take that circumference and, and divide it by the diameter. Well, people noticed that we kept uh, basically, um, we pretty much got the same value. That's kind of what I wanted to say, right? So that value is approximately 3.14, right? So by definition, that is what pi is, but it's not just 3.14. It, uh, it's uh, actually what we call an irrational number. So again, by definition, pi is when we have the circumference and we divide it by the diameter. That is what pi is equal to. All right, so let's talk about this concept irrational. So to understand what an irrational number is, we want to review what a rational number is. Now, a rational number is a number that we can express as a fraction. So for example, if I had the decimal 0.25, I can express it as a fraction 1 fourth, but uh, the fraction consists of integers, nice lovely whole numbers 1 and 4. So that is what a rational number is, again, a number that we can express as a fraction, and uh, pi we cannot express as a fraction. Now some of you might be saying, hey Mr. YouTube Math Man, you got 22 over 7. Well, that's approximately the value of pi because pi is a number that we cannot express as a fraction and we call those type of numbers in mathematics irrational numbers. So like uh, pi 3.14, uh, we have 3.14. Now I don't have, I really should have had more digits of uh, pi, but this goes on and on and on and on and on to infinity. And these digits uh, do not uh, repeat and they do not terminate. So if you want the actual value of this entire decimal of pi, well, you have to go out to infinity, and both you and I don't have that kind of time. So numbers that don't have a repeating pattern and never stop are called irrational numbers. So that's what uh, pi is. It is an irrational number. That's why we have this lovely symbol, the pi symbol, to represent all of these infinite digits. Okay, so each one of these things is a very important uh, kind of aspect of understanding what pi is, but pi is everywhere, not only in geometry when you're studying circles, but uh, in trigonometry and other uh, mathematics. And as I indicated, it is probably uh, the most important number or constant uh, value in all of math. There's other numbers as well, but you definitely wanna know something about pi. And hopefully on this lovely Pi Day, uh, you know, you kind of learned something that uh, maybe you didn't know. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to know more about circles, Pi, or geometry, check out my full main math courses. Matter of fact, uh, I have a full geometry course that you can check out if you're interested in geometry. If you just want to kind of maybe refresh and rebuild your math skills, check out my math skills rebuild a course. But uh, if you are into advanced math, then check out my pre-calculus course. You're going to see that pi symbol all over the place, especially when you study trigonometry. All right, so hopefully this little video was uh, entertaining and you actually learned something. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.